All right. Um, it's now August 21st. Um, I'm doing this at 2.08 in the morning. And I'm, uh, I got a question of how is it that we cannot recognize the humanity in other humans? I mean, can, can, can any one group be so full of themselves that they would relegate another group uh, as animals? Something subhuman, less than. I guess, okay, you know, with Dar Darwinism and, you know, all the different theories that we descended from apes and primates and all this other stuff. I guess that gives room for it to. But my goodness, you know. Um, in Ferguson, there is, there are people wearing badges, um, legal professionals, prosecutors and such, uh, every level, every corridor, every, where you, there are people that, hey, just feel like, hey, Mike, Mike, Michael Brown got, so what? I don't understand. But that's a human being. Two shots to the head. And you don't care? And, you know, you'll see uh, a lot of clowns that talk tight big on, you know, <laughs> the anonymity of the, uh, the, uh, the Internet allows a lot of people to speak brash. I saw a video today of a, of a police officer. People, you know, the crowd has diminished. The rowdy bunch hadn't even shown up. He's pointing an automatic weapon at people just walking by the street, walking by him on the street. Now he came, he came there looking for the star out. He made up his mind, oh, I'm gonna kick some ass tonight. Uh, when a big man was asked, okay, what's your name? Tell someone to go F himself. I walked off. Now, he was just, he's the one pointing weapons at people that were walking by, complied. With, no, no, another thing. A protest is a protest. Test. So when you really comply with what the police want you, <laughs> want you to do in your protest, are you really protesting? And now that being said, these people were doing what they were asked to do by the authorities, peacefully assembled, peacefully, you know, holding up signs. This protest is, you know, really looking more like a social gathering rather than a, a protest. I remember, uh, watching the uh, the Egyptians when they pro they, they, they were protesting they were loud raucous they weren't obeying any commands to protest nicely <laughs> but even in that that police officer didn't see he refused to recognize that those human beings voicing their uh, displeasure with the way things have been going on. Now, uh, again, now, system in place, systemic practices that rob certain people, not just black people, a lot of you know, poor people, of a reasonable, reasonably fair shot. I mean, it's one thing to, to beat people out of whatever. but to remove the hope that they, the hope of fairness, fair play. 
Now, me personally, in my heart, fairness and equality, they, they were always fallacies. One group always, a more powerful group always swallowed up a smaller, less powerful group. Historically, I think human beings, they respond quicker to force. They obey power and force longer. Um, incrementally, uh, each one particular group, whatever the hierarchy is, one group has to feel the sting before they help another group. But by that time, all the other groups are gone. There are people upset that this has happened. They're more, they're more bothered because all the attention is there in Ferguson than the fact that uh, it's highly likely. Well, your system hadn't worked. Now, America, your ugly is showing. Your ugly is showing. That same old problem. We've been dialoguing about this for just shy of 500 years. From the beginning of slavery up until now. But see, that's what happens when you... Uh, do the bare minimum. You put a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound. Now the core issue is the attitude that made certain people feel like they can go kidnap these people from their home, bring them to a foreign land and just work them to death, rape them to death, kill them. and then fight to hold on to every last vestige of such an institution. That's a whole lot ugly that we're putting on display to the world. We scolded China for, for civil rights violations, human rights violations. Hell, we went to Bosnia and, 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 and got busy. I guess our uh, military needed a little workout. George W. Bush, after the WMD lie didn't work, he said, well, we brought democracy to the people, all right. We've been telling the world how to treat its poor, its worst, the worst of them, the least of the least, the least of them, not worst, the least, the least of their own. We've been telling the world how to act, yet we have this happen. Mike Brown, Kajimi Powell, and another suburb suburb of uh, St. Louis today, uh, yesterday. Another, uh, Eric Garner in New York. Another young man out in uh, L.A., Trayvon Martin, Jordan Davis, and on and on and on and on. humans being what they are. And they are lacking in humanity. I don't want to say this is depressing, but what the, the, the dishonesty of it. We hold our Constitution up 
as a document of pure brilliance, uh, purity of thought, a noble endeavor, a great experiment. And we're still struggling with this from one human being to the next. 